Welcome to the Floral POS. In this how-to video, we're going to show you how to use our new order browser. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our order browser button at the top of the screen. Now the order browser itself is mainly used for viewing old orders, orders that you've already kind of taken and closed out. Uh, maybe you need to go back in and reprint an order or you just want to, you need to make an edit, maybe take another payment or so. So inside of here, if you want to view an actual order, all you do is click on the view button right here, any of the little view buttons. So let's say we want to view 602. We just click on that and it opens the order up for us to look at it and make any edits or changes we need to make. We can do that to a couple orders so you guys can see what it looks like. There we go. Also, when you just click on the order itself, it actually shows you what's inside the shopping cart or what the card message was or what the order notes are. If you need to view any other information about the order, you can just take your scroll bar here and scroll to your right and it kind of shows you all the other information about the order itself. Now if you need to search for a particular order, because maybe there's more than just, what do I have in here, about 10 orders. Uh, let's say you got 100 orders in there and you need to search for a particular order maybe a couple months ago. Um, we have all these search box boxes up top. So let's say we want to search by recipient. Maybe the first name for the recipient is Grace. Just type in Grace, click on the little search button here. And it's going to find you all the orders with the name Grace. And it will automatically um, order those so the, the latest order will be up top. So let's also search by customer. Let's say that we're actually looking for a particular customer by the first name of Joe. Type that in, click on search, and there you go. There's a Joe orders. You can also do that by date range, station number, order date, delivery, pickup date, um, order time. You can do that with the order number, invoice number, order total, and lastly, you can do it with order type. So if you're looking for just a particular order type, let's say you're just looking through deliveries, you can click on the deliveries um, button here. It'll show you all your deliveries you have. You can also just drop it down and select deliveries and hit search as well. Um, when you want to reset the browser itself, let's say um, you've done a bunch of searches and you just kind of run a research, reset it so that you can see all the orders that were in there originally. All you do is click on the little reset button here on the far right and that'll automatically reset it for you. The last thing we have inside of here is the capability to hide or show the different columns. So you can see I like have a status column, I have an order column, date, date, delivery date, company, and so on as it goes all the way over to your right here. Um, if, there's, if there's a particular column that you don't want to show, like recipient state or zip, all you do is click on the columns button here. Let's say you want to get rid of the recipient state because it doesn't really relevant. We only we only deliver right in New York. You can click on that. You notice that recipient state is gone. It automatically saves it too. So if you were to close out of here and reopen, you're going to notice that recipient state is now gone. If you want it back, all you do is just toggle it back on, and magically it automatically comes back. This is not station specific. If, if you do set this here, it's going to be set for every one of your other stations if you have more than one. And that's basically about it for the order browser. Um, the new features that we did add is uh, we have basically took all the search options and, and slammed them up to the top in these nice little organized boxes. Um, we also added the capability for you to hide and uh, show different columns. And uh, we also gave the capability to maximize the order browser itself too. So if you guys want to show more orders, maybe you have a bunch more in here, you can actually drag this down and drag it over as far as you want. I can only really go over as far as I'm recording. I'm only recording the actual um, screen for the Floral POS. So, But you can actually drag this over as far as you want, as big as your monitor is, to show as many orders as you want, and drag it down as far as you want to show as many orders as you want to. Alrighty, so that's basically the new order browser. Um, it's being released today, which is uh, Monday the 28th, the day after Easter. And um, we plan on releasing it in the morning, but it's actually an afternoon release. Uh, so once I get this video completed, we'll get everything uh, pushed up to YouTube and uh, get the update up there for you guys. And you guys can go ahead and play with this and let us know what you think about it.
So that's the new order browser. If you have any questions, give us a call at 888-865-9768 or email us at support at thefloralpos.com. And as always, if you have any questions, you can use our little smiley face and send us some feedback. All right, take care for now. We'll see you.